So let us go to this next tool, which is column distribution. I'm just turning off this column quality and clicking on column distribution. So column distribution will, again, it has taken some time because it is scanning each and every column and giving you the uh, number of distinct values and number of unique values. So as you can see, there are 42 distinct values and 38 unique values. What does that mean? Okay. So everybody knows 42 distinct values. Yes, I'm very much clear. But what are these unique values I'm calling about? Okay. So the difference is like, let me just give an example. Just type in here for you. Let's say uh, we got X and we have again X. Okay. And then we have 22. Right. And then we have 22. Then we have 22. And then we have uh, 80. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six different values. Six different values are given. So how many distinct values do you think we have here? There are X is one, 22 is one, 80 is one. So overall we have three distinct values. Three distinct values. But how many unique values we can say in this case? We can only say we have only one unique value, which is 80. Because X is repeated, 22 is repeated. Hence, I would say I have only one unique value and three distinct values in this case. Okay. So similarly, the data is showing up you like this. Let me just remove this painter. Okay. So similarly, you are able to see that. So now you can see and observe the data. So you'll get more idea like client IP and other things. Okay. They're not defined. So there's one step we are missing. So if you observe closely, it is not able to count or do anything by because the data type ABC123. Okay. So this is a very first step, right? So the data types are not properly defined. By now, you should be able to use a shortcut, right? So you can see all of them. You can, you can scan through all of them were not identified by default. No. So how do you do? You have to go one by one. No, you have learned already one option here, right? Under uh, add column under transform, I guess. Yeah, we got a detect data type. So what you do is you select all of those, uh, you know, columns which are starting from here, right? ID. So I select all of those columns. I click on con control shift and I'll go to the very last option and select it again this column. So it has selected all the columns from that particular column. Now I click quickly select this detect data type automatically detect the data type of the currently selected columns. So all the selected columns are automatically detected. What is the data type? You can see and automatically when the data type are detected, the column distribution is showing up the values. As simple as that. You can see you use the type. It was number. So it is converted to number. Record type is number. One, two, three. Date. Creation time is date. It has done its job well. So, so this is how the column distribution shows up.